back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today's video is going to be a week in my life I've never done one of these just because I feel like my life is pretty boring but some of you guys voted on Instagram that you wanted to see more vlogs so we are doing that today I figured today would be a good day to start because I have quite a few things going on this weekend it is currently Friday October 23rd and it's 1 14 p.m. Um, and I have a list of things on my phone I like thrive on list I think it's the Capricorn in me but I'm just gonna go over the list really quickly so I need to take some pictures for Instagram I'm currently in a parking garage um, and I'm going to attempt to take my own pictures today I need to go to a few thrift stores to look for some things for my Halloween costume I need to go to Target I need to go to Trader Joe's I would also like to go to Zara at some point but if we can't go today we can go another day this weekend but yeah I am currently sitting I dropped my phone um, I'm currently sitting in an empty well it's not empty it's like kind of empty parking garage because I need some Instagram pictures I feel like my Instagram has been really slacking lately and it's because my sister is the one who takes most of my Instagram pictures and she's just been busy like with work and her own stuff and I've seen quite a few girls on TikTok that take their own Instagram pictures and I was like you know what if they can do it I can do it even though I'm really nervous I came to a parking garage in a mall close to where I live and I've come here before but with my sister so I don't feel like as nervous I came to a floor that's like a little bit more empty I wanted to take pictures on the roof but it's actually pretty sunny outside so I don't think that'll work but we're going to try wish me luck hopefully this goes well I'm like kind of nervous I'm not really nervous for like people walking by or anything I'm more nervous for like a security guard to tell me something because a few weeks ago I was in a different parking garage with my sister and a security guard came up to us and told us that we couldn't take pictures which was super weird because it wasn't private property I wasn't getting like anything important in the background um, and I was taking pictures with my iPhone too which is weird but yeah hopefully i don't look like a crazy person with my tripod fingers crossed this goes well all right so i'm an idiot and i just cracked my phone it was standing on the tripod and the legs weren't um they weren't even i think and like the wind came over and it cracked while i was reaching for my camera to vlog so love that but thankfully it's just the screen protector and I have um, lifetime guarantee so I can just get another one for free I'll link the brand that I use down below because I honestly trust it with my life I haven't cracked this phone screen because of this protector so yeah I'm gonna try that again and make sure that it is stable but I wanted to show you guys the outfit really quickly so I'm wearing this jacket from Zara I showed it in my fall haul and then the rest of the outfit I kept pretty simple I'm just wearing a black um, tank from Nordstrom Rack and then my black jeans from American Eagle and then black Target booties I just wanted to keep the rest of it um, simple so that the jacket could be the I guess like main part of the outfit but yeah I'm gonna try again and hopefully my phone doesn't fall again I just finished taking pictures I'm going to look through them now um, I favorited a couple while I was taking pictures but like let's see if you can see well now you can see like all the cracks on my phone but like we got a few pictures so I'm excited and honestly like it wasn't that bad so I think I'm gonna start taking pictures by myself really like bummed about my screen protector but it's fine I'm just gonna order a new one when I get home and then now we are going to go I think I'm gonna go to the thrift store tomorrow I am meeting up with my two friends and we are going to paint pumpkins so I need to go to Trader Joe's to find a pumpkin and I also need to go to the thrift store to find some things for my costume I well I guess I could say it now since this is gonna go up next week but I want to be Rue from Euphoria I am obsessed with that show and since I have curly hair like she does in the show um, I think the outfit is like pretty easy to put together I'm looking for a blue tie-dye shirt and a maroon zip-up jacket so hopefully we find that if not I'm like not too worried I do have like 
some other accessories at home like devil horns and stuff that I could just wear if I don't find that so yeah wish me luck I love this cardigan so much but it has a small hole but it's so cute these look like Gucci inspired oh my god I've been dying for some shoes like these these are really dirty and they're not my size but those would have been perfect Honestly, like it was not my day at the thrift store. Everything was so cute, but either not my size or damaged. There was this one cardigan that I really liked, but there was a hole on like one side under the arm. And then I was like, mm, maybe I can live with it. But then I saw there, there was another hole too. And I just don't know how to sew or fix that. So I was like, forget it. They did have cute stuff, just nothing that I was looking for. But let me know if you guys would like to see some sort of thrifting video i just got into thrifting recently like after quarantine started but i feel like i have a few tips and tricks so let me know if you guys want to see a video all about that and maybe i can like style some outfits with like things that i find at the thrift store or something like that but i'm really sad because i couldn't find anything for my costume which means i'm probably just gonna dress up as like something super basic something that i can make out of what i have in my closet but yeah now i'm at trader joe's but as you guys can see it's raining i'm in my car um trying to wait for the rain to go down a little bit and then i'm gonna run in i need to get a pumpkin so i told you guys i'm painting pumpkins with my friends tomorrow and then i also want to check if they have the pumpkin samosas if you guys saw my trader joe's like fall taste test video you would know that my sister and i loved those samosas so i'm gonna go and check if they have those as well Okay, so I just got home from Trader Joe's. I didn't really film in there because it was kind of chaotic. They didn't have any medium-sized pumpkins, so I ended up getting this mini one. Um, I figured I'd rather have a mini one than like a really big one. And then I wanted to get the pumpkin samosas. They didn't have. They didn't have any of the fall stuff, so I picked up the burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread, which I've been wanting to try anyways. And then, lastly, I had these back. Last time I went, I was looking for these, and they didn't have them, but it's La Colombe Draft Coffee in Pumpkin Spice flavor. So, I'm going to heat this up and eat this for lunch, and then probably head to the mall a little bit later. Okay, so we are on our way to the mall. I'm finally trying the La Colombe. Do you think that's how you say it? La Colombe? La Colombe Draft Latte Pumpkin Spice Flavor. It's okay. It has kind of like a weird aftertaste. My mom didn't like it either, right? No. It has... I don't know. I thought it would be better, but it's also not horrible either. It's been a little bit later um, after the mall my family and I got dinner and I'm about to get ready for bed I'm kind of going to sleep a little bit early because I have a shoot tomorrow um, but before I go I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at the mall so it was just a short little shopping trip went to Zara and Abercrombie and at Zara I was looking for a specific set that I saw on Instagram, but they didn't have it in store. So I might go to a different Zara one of these days and check if they have it. But I ended up getting this top. It's just super casual. It's 
brown which I've been loving brown now for the fall time and it has like a ribbed material it's very stretchy and then it has these like bungee straps which I love tops like this and my friend got this the last time that we went to Zara together and she really likes it it was super affordable it was like $13 and then at Abercrombie I found a skirt it is a sweater skirt it's kind of like a midi length if you guys can see closer the material um and then the best part is that i don't know if you'll be able to see because it's black but there's like a little slit on the side and i've been looking for a skirt like this um and it was on clearance for 11 dollars. so i haven't tried any of these things on but hopefully they fit i think I already know how I'm gonna style this so hopefully it works and yeah I will see you guys in the morning good morning guys it is the next day and I am currently on my way to a photo shoot I was invited by habit skin lab which is a place in Miami that does facial treatments they invited me to come do a photo shoot and try out a facial so I'm super excited for that it's currently 12 and I have to be there in half an hour but I'm just going to stop by Dunkin' really quickly to grab some breakfast. The theme of the photo shoot is about embracing your natural beauty, so I don't have any makeup on. The only thing is I filled in my eyebrows because if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would know that I went to a brow place by my house last week and they ruined my brows so I had to fill that in but yeah I am super excited to be doing that today unfortunately I can't do the facial today because I already had plans after but they said that I'm more than welcome to come in another day that works better for me to do that turn down the AC just in case you guys can't hear me I just finished the photo shoot I had so much fun um, the time went by super fast but the place was super cute and we had sangria and I had a really good time meeting the other girls that were there I am gonna be going back to get a facial one day so I'll try to film more then but I am gonna insert a few clips that I got on my phone but now I am currently sitting in a random mcdonald's parking lot i'm about to meet my friends to paint some pumpkins i also changed just because my outfit before was kind of springy but i'm wearing this shirt that says tis the season and then it has like a pumpkin spice latte i got it from target a few years ago and then i'm just gonna throw a flannel over i'm super excited to paint pumpkins i have actually never carved or painted a pumpkin in my entire life so i'm excited to do that today Wait, you haven't been on the vlog yet. Oh, I haven't. Hello. This is Deandra. Hi. <laughs> Who are you for Halloween? I'm Casey Musgrave. My She's... cowboy boots are here. <laughs> <laughs> I just She's... took them off for comfort. But yeah, She's... I love her so much, so I wanted to dress up for her. She looks super cute. Here's my baby pumpkin. At every single store that I went to, they only had either really big pumpkins or really small pumpkins. And that's Amanda's pumpkin over there, but she's in the bathroom. I think I'm going to do this one. It's like an astrology. Oh, I like that. Like a spacey thing.
this is my pumpkin so far. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... I have paint like all over my fingers, but I'm gonna do little ghosts like that. Just chose to do a black background instead of leaving it orange. I'm waiting for this to dry so I can do the bottom of it. I'm <laughs> using like this glue to put this like gauze on, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna put Jack Skellington's face on it with these little like plastic thingies. That's cute. Yeah. How are you gonna smash that into the pumpkin? Oh, you literally just push it in. Oh, really? It's like I think so, it's yeah. that easy? Because I got this. And it's like, you just literally like, whoop, and that's it. Oh. So pretty easy, pretty foolproof, which I like. Okay, and let's see what, what are you doing, Hello. Amanda? Hello. Oh, they didn't see you yet. Oh, hi. <laughs> she was in the bathroom. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Yes. She was in the St. Augustine I'm vlog. Getting pretty famous, I know. <laughs> what are you doing for your uh, pumpkin? So I'm going to do the Stranger Things letters. I, I'm gonna, love that. I have lights at home that I'm going to like use. And like we don't have a white, enough white paint, so I'm trying to just like do a neutral background of yellow. Mm -hmm. But and then I'm just going to write the letters. So cute. Stranger Things. Stranger Things is like our favorite show. Yeah, so we're just talking about this. Good for spooky season. Exactly. <laughs> and then we also have some wine, which I'm excited about. Some white cloth, some snacks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Oh, that one came out. Oh, good. Please. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then I like that. It's so yeah. bad. I'm gonna get a video clip of mine. Yeah, because I use my card for the blue for that. That's such a good idea. Do you have any more of that? No, not the Mod Podge, the... Oh no, that was Didn't like it? the remnants of it. Because I, I would oh. use it one year for a mummy. Oh. I'm gonna get a yeah, video of yours. Yes, do it. Hey guys, so it's a lot later. It is currently about to be midnight. I got home not too long ago. I was with my friends for a lot longer than I was expecting, but we had so much fun painting the pumpkins. And I just got home to the weirdest thing. I got to my room and there were two West Elm boxes. And I was really confused because they didn't say my name, but I also didn't buy anything from West Elm. And this is what came inside. It's like a lamp. And then it came with like bulbs. Um, and I was like, w where could this be from? It turns out my grandma sent them to me. I don't know if it's like a gift or what. I'm kind of confused, but they're really cute. The only thing, is, it doesn't have a lampshade, but there was a second box. So I was like, okay, maybe the lampshade is in here, but it's just another lamp. So I'm so confused, but I mean... They're super cute, so I'm gonna call her and ask her or thank her, but yeah, super weird. It's been such a long day. I'm about to shower and get to bed, but I am actually so excited because something very, very exciting is happening in the vlog tomorrow. It's crazy because when I started this vlog, I didn't know that this was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen because we've been waiting for it for a few weeks, but I didn't know it was gonna happen during the vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna shower and get ready for bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. getting a late start to the vlog today it's currently 2 47 but it is sunday and it was raining this morning so i kind of just wanted to take it slow and sleep in but i just finished getting ready and today is actually a super exciting day because i am going to pick up my puppy if you guys didn't know i do have a dog already i have a shih tzu named luna and we've had her for i think two years now or it's gonna be two years in january and we decided to get her a sister and I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys We're going to pick her up a little bit later. We're probably gonna leave in like 30 minutes But first I wanted to share I got a package in from 
Urban Outfitters. I placed an order last week, so I'm gonna set you guys up so I can open this. I know this is kind of a weird angle, but I wanted you guys to be able to see me unboxing this. I did order a pair of shoes from Urban Outfitters last week. I was looking for some black shoes that I could wear for going out, but I'm also not a huge fan of heels, so I wanted something that was still fancy enough, but comfortable to walk in. My friend Catherine Deck showed me these shoes. I love her Instagram. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. And I had already seen these shoes but I just never bought them because they were like kind of expensive and I didn't really want to splurge but she showed me that they were on sale and I got them. I'm kind of nervous that they're not going to fit. They didn't have half sizes so I sized up to a size 8 so let's see. <laughs> what the box looks like super cute and minimal so cute I actually really like these I was expecting for the heel to be a little bit shorter but I think it's fine I'll be able to handle that and then I actually didn't notice when I was ordering them online but they have kind of like the square toe which is super popular right now they're so cute I hope that they fit because the thing is, I have kind of wide feet, and I feel like shoes like this usually run kind of like narrow here. But they're super cute. If you guys are interested, I'll have them linked in the description box. I'm about to do surgery on some shorts that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. I showed in my last video, yeah, the fall clothing haul. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see what they look like. These are the shorts. They're like a boyfriend style sweat short, but they're just too long on me. I know that they're supposed to have like a big oversized fit, but since I'm short, they're way too long. And I'm going to attempt to cut them. I'm a little bit scared, but they weren't that expensive. So if I mess up, I'm not going to be too mad about it. I think I'm just going to cut this much just because if I'm unhappy, then I can go back and like cut more instead of just cutting them really short and then not being able to do anything about it. So let's try. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the final result. I honestly didn't cut that much and okay, unrolled, this is what they look like. Still very big and long, so I think it just looks better when I roll them. I mean, they're still long because I didn't want them to be super short because like I said, I still want that like boyfriend look. But I'm happy with how they turned out. They're super comfy. I want to get them in more colors. If they're still available, I will have them linked down below. I decided to throw on a flannel on top. This one is from Target. And this is the fit. Let's go pick up my puppy.
hey guys so it is a monday night i don't think i filmed at all today but today was my first day alone with the dogs and it was a lot harder than i was expecting um i never realized raising a puppy is literally like raising a child that's why i didn't film but i wanted to unbox a package that i received in the mail today from dippin daisies i have worked with them in the past over the summer they sent me a few of their swimsuits to try out and i really love them and then recently they just came out with a loungewear collection they reached out and asked if i wanted to work with them again and if they could send me a few pieces from their loungewear collection so i'm super excited let's open it up okay for sizing reference i got everything in size extra large so the first piece that I picked up is the sunburst top in the mauve color. Super cute. I love the little lettuce trim. And then I picked up the out and about pant also in mauve. And this is what they look like. Oh yeah, I think these will fit. They're super stretchy. And then they just go all the way down and cinch at the bottom. They also sent me the wake up stripe top. And this one is more of like a pajama set. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Even like, not even to sleep, but I can see myself wearing this like tucked into jeans and maybe like black loafers or something or black booties it's this really nice like linen -y material so even if it's long sleeve you won't get hot when you're sleeping in it and i really like this a lot i love the colors you guys know i love neutral colors so that color palette is right up my alley and then they also sent it to me with the carefree short so it's just the same exact print but the matching shorts to go with it oh my god they have pockets too i did not know that so so cute i cannot wait to try this on and then they also sent me the what is it this is the simply sweet dress i'm not sure if they have other patterns of this one or if this is the only pattern Oh, it's so cute I don't know if it well yeah it might fit it is this black and white leopard print and, and then the top has kind of like what do you call this like a cowl neck it is a midi dress which I've never had a midi dress before but I think I already know how I want to wear this so that is super exciting and then they sent over a few accessories so they sent over first this matching scrunchie to go with the dress super cute i love a good scrunchie and then they also sent me a mask that matches the striped little set this mask is actually really nice so the outside is like the same linen material as the set and then the inside it almost feels exactly like their swimsuit like those material that they use for their swimsuits which is so cool and then they also sent over a few filters so you can put inside i love masks that have that feature that was everything thank you so much dip and daisies for sending me these pieces i cannot wait to style them if you guys are not following me on instagram go ahead and do that so you guys can see how i style them i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do a few tiktoks with them as well so i'm gonna have the links to all of those socials down below if you guys aren't following me already it is a little bit later it's about to be 10 30 the puppies are asleep and i am going to take off my makeup and probably watch some youtube videos before i go to bed thank you so much for watching like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video